Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. I'm more concerned this won't actually solve any problems. I agree. It just lends credence to the idea that we should care what the Chantry says. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. The city still mourns. Just a guest seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. My Lady Herald! You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. They wish to protect the people? From us? We knew there would be some kind of reaction. But I didn't expect the Templars to make an appearance. The people may just be assuming what the Templars will do. I've heard of no concrete plans. You think the Order's return to the Fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are... ...delayed. As you say, my lady. All right. Hi guys, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Vivi and I finally got back into Dragon Age. So with that being said, let's just continue our story because we've just started and we're here now in Val Royal to hopefully find some allies. So let's not waste any time. It's a pretty place. Too bad it's not uh I mean, there should be children playing around here, right? In the ponds, in the water. <laughs> I would think, well, maybe this isn't such a good place for children to be. Yeah, and news and stuff. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Good people of Val Royo, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, wonder no more. Who, me? Behold. The so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say this is a false prophet, 
No servant of anything beyond her selfish greed. Really? Wouldn't you rather discuss our enemy? You say I am the enemy. The breach in the sky is our true enemy. We must unite to stop it. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Right. Hey. That wasn't necessary at all. Still yourself. She is beneath us. So someone's got a conscience, huh? How? What's the point of all this? What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with... You will not address me. Lord Seeker? Creating a heretical movement. Raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet. Puppet, huh? You should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Right. Really? What sort of respect do you think you can get just by demanding it? If you're not here to help the Chantry, then you just came to make speeches. I came to see what frightens old women so, and to laugh. But Lord Seeker, what if she really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. Huh. I will Do make the question. Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We deserve recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition, less than nothing. Really? <laughs> Templars. Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. We march. I'm sorry, that's just laughable. <laughs> it really is. Charming fellow, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? Yeah. So much for Templar help, I guess. We'll find another way to do this without them. Fortunately, the Templars aren't our only hope. I wouldn't write them off so quickly. There must oh, be yeah? those in the Order who see what he's become. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Let's have a chat with this person over here, hiding under a hat. Excuse me, but is what they're saying real? The Inquisition's going to fix the hole in the sky? Yeah, that's the plan. We're going to give it a try, at least. No one is doing anything. The Chantry is useless, and the Templars... Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in days. You want to help the Inquisition? Never been part of something this big before, but... If your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, I want to help. Well, I don't mind. How about you, Cassandra? What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you and not me. Well, she is. The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Haven is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Sure. Then go to Haven. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. 
I don't know if I'm that, but it will be nice to see. Thank you. Well, anyone willing to come make a buck at our place is our Templars left. Probably not. The Chantry promised they defend us. Uh, you don't have to be a saint, but at least you're willing to do something. That's good. What's that? An arrow with a message? Who will fetch their Templars back, I wonder? Hmm. A message is attached, written in a large flowing hand and bordered with doodles. People say you're special. I want to help. And I can bring everyone. There's a baddie in Val Rio. I hear he wants to hurt you. Have a search for the red things in the market, the docks, and round the cafe. And maybe you'll meet him first. Bring swords. Friends of Red Jenny. A poor drawing of the locations in the market is attached. <laughs> Baddies, huh? Sounds like me. <laughs> and you are? My maker, know my heart. Take from me a life of sorrow. Comfort is only yours to give. Oh, maker, where is the comfort? Look away. I have broken the chant because it comes from my heart. What have we when our divine is dead and the sky burns? What, what do you mean you broke the chant? What do you mean you broke the chant? Are you also ignorant of the Maker's most basic rites? The yeah, chant of probably. life is how we honor the Maker. They are the only words that the faithful should hear from my lips. But I can't. Our divine is dead. Our Templars gone. The Maker's silence is deafening. What hope have we? Uh, well, I'm gonna be, um, I've got my feet firmly planted on the ground, so, uh, the Inquisition can give you the answers you need. So, I have a faith I've lost, or one that seeks to drive it from me. What? I can't even look to our Templars. How is this not darkness? I have no idea what you just said. Well, the Templars didn't even touch you. What are they talking about? I believe that messenger is trying to get our attention. Yeah, okay. Messenger. You are the Herald of Andraste, are you not? Mm -hmm. I have an invitation for you. You are cordially invited to attend my salon, held at the Chateau of Duke Bastien de Gislain. Yours, Vivienne de Fair, first enchanter of Montimar, enchanter to the Imperial Court. Yeah, sure. Let's go have a ball, guys. Now, we want to find something red. I see red apples, that's probably not what the messenger she was talking about. The maker. Fire is her water. As the moth sees light and goes toward flame. Yeah, the lore in this game, I'm not gonna go through in this playthrough. I might do that later on. Please move along. If there's any wishes. If anyone wishes to hear anything about it. Just playing. Oh yes. She's singing in French, isn't she? Thank you. A pleasure. I can't believe 
Yeah. All's well, it seems. Oh, yes. It's so pretty. I really like it. I very much enjoy it. So... Yeah, we should probably check that she's okay. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics have scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. If you do not believe you are the Maker's Chosen, then what are you? Someone who can help. Someone who can help close the breach and end this madness. That is more comforting than you might imagine. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. Yeah. I'll stop this somehow. There's got to be a way to calm everything down and clean up this mess. I hope against hope that may be the case. You hope against hope? Oh well, you do that. And I'll... I'll just hope. <laughs> hmm? So, look at this place. It's so... So pretty. The water here... Oh wow, I just want to dive in. It looks so, so real. Only thing I've got a bit of a problem with is the way the boats are breaking the waterline. But ignoring that, this looks so pretty. And look at those statues over there. Pointing the way to the city, I think. Oh, and there's something over there as well. Is that... Uh... Someone's... Castle? Chateau? Something? Is that... Maybe that's where we need to go. Where we're invited? I'm not sure. I really like this place, really like it. Let's see what we've got here. Reservoir, stocking, evaluation. Tremors, floating, taste is off. Water boots, die off. Restocking failed, fish not tip, do not consume. Really? Well, sure, I'm not consuming. So we've got two out of three handkerchiefs now. Can I? Oh, damn it. But I, I keep forgetting that space in this game is pause. <laughs> and it makes for some fun screenshots. Right, let's see. Can I get to that? Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna pick it up. And I'm not even gonna pretend I don't know where the last handkerchief is because yeah this is not a blind playthrough they left us the templars left us to the mages no <laughs> really seriously sometimes i wonder if i ever play this game but look at this oh wait 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 can maybe we? Can we take a look here? 
Look at this place. So this is really not a point. This is this is a this is man-made, isn't it? And got much more houses over there. It's actually a full city around here. Yeah, I've never even noticed that before. If I can I go over there and have a look? It's so pretty. It really is. And yeah, we've been looking around for some. Uh, we've been toying with the plan of going house shopping for a tiny, tiny house up in an even more rural place than we're living now. So, this reminds me a bit about that. Wow. I never ever noticed how really gorgeous this game is. So this is where we came from. We had to come through here. Wow. Up through the mountains. And those fishing boats, they are so... They're so cute. They're gorgeous. I have no idea why I haven't seen this part of the game before. I don't think they knew. I can't believe this. I have no idea. I just never took the time, perhaps. But I'm glad I did. Yeah. Really glad I did. If I might have a moment of your time. Grand Enchanter Fiona? Leader of the Mage Rebellion. Is it not dangerous for you to be here? I heard of this gathering, and I wanted to see the fabled Herald of Andraste with my own eyes. If it's help with the breach you seek, perhaps my people are the wiser option. Yeah. And maybe our only option? <laughs> Does that mean the mages will help us? We are willing to discuss it with the Inquisition at least. Consider this an invitation to Redcliffe. Come, meet with the mages. An alliance could help us both, after all. I hope to see you there. Au revoir, my Lady Herod. Come, let us return to Haven. All right. But I need to go Return a couple places. We need to go to a secluded courtyard. Mm -hmm. I see you. I guess there's no time like the present. Let's go, guys. Well, they know who I work for it. Come on. It's funny to watch it like that. Okay. We're done. We're done. Let's move on. Let's find out what's going on here. Errol of Andraste! How much did you expend to discover me? It must have weakened the Inquisition immeasurably. I don't know who you are. You don't fool me. I'm too important for this to be an accident. Uh -huh. My efforts will survive in victories against you elsewhere. Just say what? What is this? 
Ugh. Squishy one, but you heard me, right? Just say what? Rich tits always try for more than they deserve. Blah, blah, blah! Obey me. Arrow in my face. So, you followed the notes well enough. Glad to see you're... You're kind of plain, really. All that talk, and then you're just... Person. Yeah. I mean, it's all good, isn't it? The important thing is, you glow. You're the Herald thingy. Uh-huh. Yeah, well... Maybe. <laughs> why? Sure, why not? I glow. What's going on? No idea. I don't know this idiot from manners. My people just said the Inquisition should look at him. Your people? Elves? <laughs> no. People, people. Name's Sarah. This is cover. Get round it. For the reinforcements. Don't worry. Someone tipped me their equipment shed. They've got no breaches. Why didn't you take They've got no breaches. Because no breaches. <laughs> really, it was more fun to take their weapons than, you know, their weapons. <laughs> they really, yeah, they really got. <laughs> it's funny though. Friends really came through with that tip. No breaches. <laughs> So, Herald of Andraste, you're a strange one. I'd like to join. If you look who's talking, I'm a strange one. <laughs> How about we get to know each other first? You know, names and such. One name. No, wait, two. It's... Well, it's like this. I sent you a note to look for hidden stuff by my friends. Uh -huh. The friends of Red Jenny. That's me. Right. Well, I'm one. So is a fence in Montfort, some woman in Kirkwall. There were three in Starkhaven, brothers or something. It's just a name, yeah? It lets little people, friends, be part of something while they stick it to nobles they hate. So here, in your face, I'm Sarah. The friends of Red Jenny are sort of out there. I use them to help you. Plus arrows. Yeah, plus arrows. So are you offering spice or something? The Inquisition has spies already. Can you add to these professionals? Here's how it is. You important people are up here, shoving your cods around. Blah, blah, I'll crush you. I'll crush you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, crush you. <clears throat> then you've got cloaks and spy kings, like this tit. Or was he one of the little knives, all serious with his little knife? All those secrets, and what gave him up? Some houseboy who don't know shite, but knows a bad person when he sees one. So no, I'm not knifey shiv dark, all hidden. If you don't listen down here too, you risk your breaches. Like those guards? I stole their... Look, do you need people or not? I want to get everything back to normal. Like you. Do you ever stop talking? All right, Sarah. I can use you and your friends. Yes! Getting good before you're too big to like. That'll keep your breaches where they should be. Plus extra breaches because I have all these... You have merchants who buy that pish, yeah? Got to be worth something. Anyway, Haven. See you there, Herald. This will be grand. Lady Trevelyan of Ostwick, representing the Inquisition. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. Yeah, I can imagine. So Do you tiresome. Be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duke Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Oh, they're all true. Everything you've heard? Completely true. Better and better. The Inquisition should attend more of these parties. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Really? Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. And you are? Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. So, um... What's your point? 
I've never made any claims to holiness. What's your point? In front of all these people, you admit to being a pretentious usurper. We know what your Inquisition truly is. If you were a woman of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. Really? <laughs> my dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is intolerable. Uh, Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? I honestly don't care. The Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Ferelden doggerel. <coughs> And all dressed up in your aunt Solange's doublet. Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave chevaliers who will be competing left for Markham this morning. And you're still here. Were you hoping to sate your damaged pride by defeating the Herald of Andraste in a public duel? Or did you think her blade could put an end to the misery of your failure? Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. I'm delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Mont Simard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Well, your parties are probably great. Oh. Your salon has certainly exceeded my expectations so far. I'm glad to keep you entertained, my dear. I wanted to meet face to face. It is important to consider one's connections carefully. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Last loyal mages? Interesting. Well, I'm not turning away anyone who wants to help us. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that. Two more people joined our course and. To be honest, I'm not quite sure if I'm in love with any of them. They sort of follow themselves, both of them, but in very different ways. So, we'll have a chat, I, I'm sure. But for now, it's time to wrap up this episode. So, we'll see you next time. Maybe? Thanks for watching. Bye. I should go. I should go. I should go. I should go.